I'm Amber Dimstra. I'm from Iowa in the United States of America. Ukrainian <laughs> and uh, I've I've been here I work uh, as a musician on cruise ships and uh, during this coronavirus uh, obviously there were no ships going out and so we I just came in because I was married to Pasha and he can't come in the United States so we're hanging out here Ukrainian music. I mean, uh, do you mean traditional Ukrainian music, like, or like a hopak and everything? I love it, love it, love it. Minor keys, a lot of the Ukrainian music is in a minor key, and so in that way, I do feel like it's similar in some way. Yeah, I do. Um, it's just a different feel, obviously. It's like such an American art form, and the ethnic music of Ukraine is so, it's very different, but there's one similarity, and I think it's the mood the mood yeah I think the world, the world is big, and nowadays everyone connects with music from everywhere. Um, I do think that some, uh, proud that my American art forms, jazz, blues, um, they are everywhere in the world um, because they are. They're just very unique and, and intriguing to listen to. And, and so I, I find it special that the art form of blues and jazz are being explored by many, many Ukrainian um, musicians. I'm, I'm happy to see that, yeah. And great to be a part of, a part of anything. <laughs> this youthful heart can love you and give you what 
Yeah, I, I have a lot of experience going to concerts and shows in the United States. Big music festivals like Coachella, Bonnaroo, uh, smaller ones like South by Southwest. Um, there's music festivals all around us in the United States, mostly in the summer. Uh, my favorite blues uh, artist, uh, probably Etta James. Uh, yeah, pro probably Etta James. Uh, uh, obviously, St Stevie Ray Vaughan is just a, a giant. And now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, oh my gosh, I know so many more, but I'm not even... Nina, Nina Simone, she is blues-influenced big time, and she's one of my very favorite artists of all time. So, yeah.
music is joy. It brings people together. It's such an important art form, and it's been really difficult uh, through this whole COVID crisis with live events having been closed down for so long. And with things opening back up, it seems like there's this light that is going through because people are finding the joy and connection with one another through music. So that's my message for the world. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. She's my pride and she's my She's my